Well, the way high school football championships are won is changing in Florida. News for Jack Sports anchor Cole Peppers here. And Cole, a very close vote today for a plan that really is drastically going to change how high school football championships are won. There'll be a lot of schools that are going to be affected by this. Uh, it was closer, uh, as you can imagine, that the vote could be and still be passed. A 9-7 to seven margin today. The FHSAA voted to accept a plan to restructure the classification of high school football teams. It's a change that will take place for the upcoming season. The concern was that teams from the eight most populated counties had begun winning state championships at an uneven pace. In the past 12 years, 77% of all state titles were won by schools in the most populated counties. Until now, the most recent classifications were 1A for the rural schools and then 2A through 8A for the rest based on enrollment size at those schools. Here's how things will be classified moving forward. There will still be a rural division, but now there's a new suburban division that will include four different classifications for schools not in the largest counties. They'll be broken down like this. The 68 largest schools will be suburban 4A, the next 68 3A, next 68 2A. 1A suburban will be schools with enrollments below 600. Schools in our area in St. John's County, Clay, Nassau, Baker, and Flagler counties will all fall into this division. In the largest counties, including Duval, there will be 64 teams for classification. Again, 1A will be for schools fewer than 600 students enrolled. This change means that the previous 8A region, which includes Sandalwood, Mandarin, Bartram Trail, Creekside, Ponte Vedra, and Oakleaf, will go away. Sandalwood and Mandarin will have to be in the metro division. The other schools will be in the suburban division. As shown by how close the vote was, not everybody was on board with the change. And I know what they're saying. I understand uh, the process with which they're 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 talking, but I, I still believe um, that it has uh, had plenty of time. It's been through the FBAC uh, twice, uh, been through the ADAC twice. Uh, it, it passed one time. And it, it it got voted down one time, and we made some adjustments, and it came back and passed. And so I do I do not believe that six months is is all it's been. I, I believe that it's been a four year process. Um, so I, I think that uh, it's had plenty of time and I, I'm excited about having the possibility of where it's going to be. We'll get on the whiteboard. We'll spend some sleepless nights, not because of worry, but because of interest and hard work to make it work. See, our focus is our membership and individual member schools. That's our focus. So we need to create a product that all of our schools can understand, whether they be large schools, small schools, private schools, public schools, charter schools, or whoever. We need to create a product that they can understand so they can then participate appropriately. It's important to note that this change is only for football. All the other sports will remain with the same classification system.